Hi, I'm Nicholas. I'm the loan production manager on Wiki's real estate team. And this is the Wiki Real Estate Market Update. In this episode, our market snapshot segment, we'll discuss what's happening in Whatcom and Skagit County housing markets. Then we'll dive into a segment we're calling Ask the Expert. We'll hear from Scott Zagrofos from Kaz Construction, and he'll speak about winterizing your home. It's gonna be a great episode. Here we go. First up is our market snapshot. As we head into the fall, we continue to see three key elements that contribute to accessibility in our local real estate market. Interest rates remain elevated, inventory still favors the seller, and prices are mixed with Whatcom County holding relatively steady while prices in Skagit County continue to rise. These factors have led to an affordability crisis for many of our homeowners. In August, the 30-year fixed rate mortgage topped 7%. This is the highest they've been in 21 years, according to Freddie Mac. One year ago, the 30-year fixed rate mortgage averaged about five and, a, five and an eighth. Three years ago, it averaged 2.99. And again, these are all numbers according to Freddie Mac. The jump in mortgage rates from three years ago is akin to a 39% drop in home affordability. In other words, if you could have afforded a $375,000 house when rates were at 3%, now you might only be able to afford a house around $230,000. However, it's important to remember that the 30-year fixed rate is not the only product option available. Many buyers are looking at five, seven, or even 10-year adjustable rate mortgages. This allows them to secure more favorable rates offsetting some of that affordability that's been lost with overall rate increases. This approach has opened the door for a lot of our members to get into their dream home today, knowing that they'll likely refinance when rates change in the future. The higher interest rates have also played a role in the availability of inventory. A recent Redfin report noted that 82% of homeowners have mortgage rates below 5%, and 62% have rates below 4%. Even closer to a quarter of all homeowners have rates below three. This disparity between what homeowners have and what's on offer at the local credit union has made many homeowners hesitant to swap. There's also limited construction happening in our local markets. This is exasperating the inventory issue. However, as mentioned earlier, with inflation showing signs of cooling and rates seeming to settle in, purchasing a home now may be the best fit if it fits your financial budget. Of course, if we see markets change and we have an interest rate reduction, we could see demand escalate again. This may further elevate prices. A couple of years ago, the historic low interest rates often created an environment that was prone to bidding wars. Although those lower rates made it easier for some people to qualify, it created a situation where they not, might not even be able to win the bid on the home. Many first-time homebuyers found themselves competing against all cash offers and bidders who were willing to go way over the asking price. Today, you have a better chance of presenting a winning offer and getting into the house you want. But as mentioned, the landscape that you may need to navigate has changed. Coming in and meeting with a Wiki loan officer is the first step towards securing the house of your dreams. Our team will sit down with you, help you navigate today's market's conditions, and guide you on a path to a home ownership. Down the road, you'll have the option to refinance. Anticipating our members may want to explore a refinance after purchasing a home, we created the Wiki Purchase Promise Program. Not only do you get a $500 discount on your closing costs with your initial loan, you get our on-time close guarantee, but you'll also be eligible for $500 off the future closing costs when you refinance. Visit weq.com slash home loans to learn more. Well, this is it for the market update segment. When we come back, we'll move into a segment we're calling Ask the Expert. You'll hear from Scott Zagrafos from Cas Construction, and he'll speak about winterizing your home. Right now, rates are high, and many wonder if it's the right time to buy a home. With the WeQ Purchase Promise, we have you covered. 
First, rest assured with our $500 close on time guarantee, knowing you'll have a great chance to get into the home of your dreams. And with the WeQ purchase promise, you'll also save money. Now with $500 off closing costs and later with $500 off of future refinance when you lower your rate. Plus, as a not-for-profit credit union, WeQ always has competitive rates, helpful service, and low fees. Let WeQ be a part of your family story with the WeQ Purchase Promise. Visit WeQ.com slash home loans to learn more. All right, we're back. Now we'll move into the segment called Ask the Expert. We'll hear from Scott Zagrafos from Cass Construction, and he'll speak about winterizing your home. Hi, I'm Scott Zagrafos with Cass Construction, and this is Ask the Expert. Today, we're gonna to talk about winterizing your home. Here in the Northwest, this is considered to be a fairly mild climate, but there's still lots of things you can do to your home to make it more durable, more comfortable, and help save energy and money over the winter time. All right, to help keep your pipes from freezing, you definitely wanna disconnect your hose on the outside. Sometimes the water that's stuck in the hose can freeze and cause your hose bib to freeze. So disconnect those hoses and then make sure you have some type of insulation or something on the outside of your hose bib. That'll help keep the pipes inside the wall from freezing in cold weather. Pacific Northwest, we get a big mix of snow and rain and rain and bulk water is a big concern for a lot of people. So one thing before the winter season happens is you wanna make sure that your downspouts and your gutters are clear and you wanna make sure that you route the water away from the house. You don't want it pointing down into the foundation because that's gonna cause your crawl space or basement to collect water. In the winter time, you wanna make sure that your pipes don't freeze. If your pipes are located outside the conditioned space, like in a crawl space or an unconditioned basement, you wanna make sure you insulate them to protect them from freezing. In this house, the pipes are located inside the conditioned space because this is heated, so there's not really a need to insulate them. Sealing air leaks in your home is a great way to help your house hold heat. Um, the heating system in the house is one of the biggest energy consumers, so anything you can do to help your house hold heat better is going to make it more comfortable, safer, and drier in the winter time. For example, you want to look for leaks that might be up in the ceiling plane. That tends to be where the pressure is the greatest. Things like recessed can lights that aren't sealed or even duct systems. Duct systems, for example, should be sealed entirely so that you deliver all that conditioned air to the living space and you don't let it leak out of cracks and things into the attic or crawl space where it's costing you money and it's not conditioning your home. Old fireplaces is also a place where a lot of air leaks can happen. A lot of times we don't really use them the way we used to to heat your home. Even if the flue is closed, there's still some big air leaks going up into the chimney. So if you know you're not going to use your fireplace, you might consider blocking that flue from the bottom side with a piece of rigid foam or something like that. That'll help keep the chimney from sucking all the conditioned air out of your house. Having your heating equipment serviced in the winter time is key as well. You want to make sure that things are tuned and working properly before the winter season. And one thing you can do by yourself is to make sure all the filters are clean. In a ductless heat pump like this, you can pull the filters out, clean them, and replace them. Some other furnace filters might just need to be replaced altogether, but that's something you should check and do every winter season. You wanna make sure that your smoke detectors and CO detectors are working. Um, those are key for helping to keep your family safe in the wintertime. Good cheap insurance is a CO detector that'll warn you before CO levels get to a dangerous level. Again, thanks for joining us today. My name is Scott Zagrafos with Cass Construction, and this has been Ask the Expert. Wow, that was such great information. Well, that's all the time we have for this episode. We want to thank you for joining us for the WeQ Real Estate Market Update. We'll see you next time. Right now, rates are high, and many wonder if it's the right time to buy a home. With the WeQ Purchase Promise, we have you covered. First, rest assured with our $500 close on time guarantee, knowing you'll have a great chance to get into the home of your dreams. And with the WeQ Purchase Promise, you'll also save money. Now with $500 off closing costs and later with $500 off of future refinance when you lower your rate. Plus, as a not-for-profit credit union, WeQ always has competitive rates, helpful service, and low fees. Let WeQ be a part of your family story with the WeQ Purchase Promise. Visit WeQ.com slash home loans to learn more.